I'm from University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. I'm glad to introduce our work on the KPEX listening problem. The first part is the background. The background of our algorithm is finding cohesive groups. Finding cohesive groups has a lot of application in different fields. In WWW scenario, we can identify clients sharing similar interests and save them with a common proxy. In social networks, we can discover closely related individuals. In biological networks, we can predict the structure and the function of protein. In fact, cohesive groups can be modeled with graph theory. The most famous and well-studied model is the clique model. A clique is a subgraph where vertices are pairwise connected. That is the complete graph. As you can see below, the clique model is very simple and cohesive. However, clique models still have some defections. For example, cohesive groups are not necessary to appear as cliques in real life. Therefore, KPEX, a Rex model was proposed. A KPEX allows every vertex B seen at most K minus one edges to other vertices. As you can see, the parameter K here represents the tolerance for data noisy. Especially a oneplex is just a click. Okay, there are some properties of the KPEX model. The first property is the hereditary property. That is, a larger KPEX can be obtained by expanding an existing KPEX. Therefore, we can define that a KPEX is called maximal if it cannot be further expanded. The second property is the distant property. That is, a KPEX with at least two times k minus one vertices has a diameter at most two. However, a KPEX with less than two times k minus one vertices may be unconnected. It tells us the number two times k minus one is an important boundary of the connectedness and the diameter. So in this talk, I will model cohesive groups with the maximal complexes. Otherwise, I can expand the non-maximal ones until they become maximal. Therefore, we can translate our task into two problems. The first problem is listing all the maximal complexes. Furthermore, sometimes we want cohesive groups with a certain scale. Therefore, we will like to list not maximal complexes with a lower bound L. These are the two problems to be solved. The second part is the algorithms. Before I introduce our algorithms, I want to introduce the classical brown curve watch algorithms. I will call it BKPEX in this talk. BKPEX accepts three sets P, C, and X. And what BKPEX does is just expanding P with the candidates in C. The set P contains flex vertices of the expanding KPEX. The set C contains candidate vertices for further branching. The set X contains excluded vertices. The set X is not very important in this talk. So the only thing you should know is to avoid the non-maximal solutions, the set X is necessary. And there is an important concept called the GM theorem. A GM theorem can be obtained by repeatedly removing a vertex with a minimum degree in the remaining subgraph. As you can see below, in the left graph, we can remove the vertex 2, 1, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6 by turn. And uh, the corresponding ordering is 2, 1, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6. We define that, given a degeneracy ordering VI to VN. The degree of VI in the remaining graph is called VS core number. And the largest core number amongst all the vertices is called the degeneracy D. Finally, the last and the most important thing is, due to the sparsity of many real-world graphs, it holds night. D is far less than delta, and delta is far less than n, where delta is the maximum degree, and n is the vertex number. There are also two recent diagrams of our, our competitors. The first one is BKP World. The main contribution of BKP World is its brand schema. BKP World was proposed with the pivot heuristic in its brand schema and the BK pivot improved the trivial com complexity to O star gamma to M, where gamma is related to K, but strictly smaller than two. The second one is D2K. The main contribution of D2K is its graph decomposition. D2K was proposed to list K plexes with diameter at most two. For each vertex, 
D2K builds a local subgraph and it will adopt the BKplex to list maximal Kplex locally. And D2K runs in O star 2 to D times delta in total. So what we will do is just uh, combine them and propose our algorithms listplex, which runs in O star gamma to D. Our algorithm listplex divides the task into two parts. The first part is listening k places with less than two times k minus one vertices. Because this part is not of much interest, we solve it directly by BK plex. The second part is listing k places with at least two times k minus one vertices. This part is very interesting because according to the distance property, the diameter of this kind of k-plexes is at most two. Okay, there is a demonstration of our part two. As you can see, this plex will sort V in the general ordering first, and it will decompose this task into n iterations. In the i iteration, this plex will list k-plexes with i as the minimum vertex number. It means VI must be contained in the k-plexes, while any vertex before VI mustn't be contained. First, this plex will induce the subgraph GI by VI and VS one hop and two hop neighbors in the remaining graph. This is because the diameter here is at most two. Uh, we call this kind of graphs set graphs. Take the first iteration, for example. In the first iteration, VI is 2, VS 1 half labels are 1 and 3 in the remaining graph. VS 2 half labels are 4, 5, 6 in the remaining graph. After building the set graphs, these packs will enumerate possible combinations of VS 2 half labels, namely possible combinations of 4, 5, 6. We call them set, set sets S. Assuming K is three here, according to the definition of K plexes, because VI must be contained, therefore at, at most two VS2 hop labels can appear simultaneously. Therefore, the size of set set S is at most two. For some possible set set S, this plex will call BK pivot with, some, with the set wood to set P and all other two hop labels eliminated from the set C namely eliminated from the candidates. Consequently, the code BK pivot only focuses on the one hop labels and takes them as candidates. Therefore, the complexity of our algorithm is reduced to O star gamma to D because the number of candidates in BK pivot is bounded by D. Uh, here are some discussion about our framework. The first question is, why do we need to graph the composition? The first reason is cohesive groups always appear locally in large real world graphs. It means we can search locally. The second reason is with smaller scale, we can gain better locality and faster speed. The last reason is the tasks on different set graphs are independent. It means appearing parallelism. As for the set set, the similar question is, why do we need set set? The first reason is, according to the definition of k-plex, at least k minus one vertices can come from the VS two hop labels. Uh, second, meanwhile, the number of two hop labels is potentially d times delta. So that's a terrible contradiction. But it means if we can eliminate two hop labels first, we can reduce the candidate fast and improve the performance. The last reason is comparing to VS1 hop labels, the two hop labels are often loosely connected. It means we can apply some pooling rules during this special stage. As for listing maximal large complexes with a lower bound L, we can derive a related lower bound L prime. That is, for any vertex pair U and V in P, the number of U and V's common labels is no less than L prime. To use this constraint, we can consider the vertex pair U, V in some set sets. If the vertex pair cannot meet the constraints, we can drop this, this set set and save the first coming exponential search. Uh, the third part is the experiments. 
In terms of our data set we tested, all the graphs are taken from the SNAP and low. As you can see, the largest graph we tested has more than 1 billion edges, but its generacy is only 1,500. In terms of listing all the maximum complexes, you can see our algorithm outperformed the competitors, and our parallel working with 16, with 16 threads has a good speed up. In terms of listing large maximum complexes, it's impressive that our algorithm outperforms the competitors by orders and even several orders. This part is a, the test on our largest graph in 16 threads. You can see our algorithm still outperforms the competitors, and our algorithm has a really perfect speed up on this instance. Finally, as we said before, with the lower bound L, we can derive a lower bound L prime and use this lower bound to prune on food forces sets. There is a breakdown analysis. The lines choose the overall running time with and without these pooling rules, and the bars choose the number of set sets with and without it. You can see we can reduce not our unnecessary competition by this pooling rule. So that's all. Thanks.